we're talking about matters women empowerment excited about this one so i'll start by just introducing him the special guest on the panel his name is sitting on my far right victor uh, Nyagaya. Victor is the Chief Executive Officer, Lake Region Economic Block. Karibu sana. Thank you very and much. And thank you for finding interest mm -hmm. in matters uh, women and women empowerment. Of course, we have with us this morning as well, um, Caroline Wathiari. She is the Corporate Sales Manager at View Travel. Asante, Caroline. And of course, we have with us also this morning, Irene Wanga, PR and Partnerships at Lead Spiral Kenya. Thank you. And also, Mas Wamoto, convener of this uh, special summit, Half Hour Summit, and CEO of Elgon Group Limited, Asante. Thank you very much. Good to have you this morning. So I'll start with you because you're the convener. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you know, all roads will be leading to the county of Mombasa. Mombasa. It's yes. coming at a good time, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Your holiday, yes, the holiday has started. <laughs> so if you didn't have plans, you can start with this one. So tell us a bit about uh, this, this, this very important summit and what, what was even the motivation behind okay. um, you know, having it. All right. Thank you so much, Safin. Thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Masi Wamoto. I'm the CEO of Elgon Group. And we are the conveners of Hapawa Women's Summit, which is going to take place in Mombasa County. We are the conveners of Hapawa Women's Summit, which is going to take place in Mombasa County on the 22nd and 23rd of November. Um, the main vision or the vision for Hapawa Women's Summit is to empower women economically. Um, uh, we looked, we look, uh, we're actually uh, reaching out mostly to women in grassroots and women with disabilities uh, where we're going to have inclusivity. So we're going to have women leaders uh, in one room, policy makers as well, to discuss issues on women economic empowerment. You know, as we always say, uh, you empower a woman, you empower a whole nation. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at uh, empowering women and uh, encouraging women to take up even different uh, sectors uh, like e-mobility, uh, renewable energy, blue economy, and AI and technology. Mm -hmm. So that is how we're going to be. The event is going to be a two-day where we're going to have exhibitions. We're going to have uh, panel sessions, keynote speeches, and breakout sessions as well. And over and above that, we're going to have a GBV campaign as well. As we know, we have a lot of uh, femini femicide uh, issues, and we're going to talk about end femicide uh, as well. And we're going to do a campaign, have... Uh, a discussion around GBV and ending femicide. Right. And then we're going to have a match on it. Uh, we have a few partners who have also come on board, like Aga Khan Hospital, who are going to be talking about cervical cancer for right. women. Right. Yes. Masi, you'll tell me more about uh, those partnerships and mm. also more about what people should expect. But yeah. let me just come to you, Caroline, as one of the partners as well, View Travel. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a bit about this partnership and um, you know what, what sort of win-win are we looking at and uh, why this was an important important course for VU Travel to really put, you know, their, their, their efforts and investment in. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So um, basically, um, uh, we like partnering with our corporate clients. And when uh, Elgon Group approached us and they told us they want us to be handling the ground logistics, and then we heard about what they were trying to push in terms of uh, the summit itself. We were very happy as a company to be able to support the girl child and everything that they're trying to push and everything that they're trying to, you know, make people understand the reason why we are supporting the girl child. We are not yet done supporting this um, 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 motive. We are still pushing and we believe there's so much more that we can do. So our call is to all our corporate clients kindly reach out to us whenever you feel like there's something that you need uh, to be pushed out there, and we as a company, we are ready to support you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Irene, um, I also want to hear, you know, what is your key highlight, um, you know, with this um, summit, what mm -hmm. you find interesting and important. Mm -hmm. I'm also really interested in the areas she has touched on. I'm looking at blue economy, e-mobility, technology. I mean, if you ask me, these mm -hmm. are not topics or subjects mm -hmm. that, you yeah. know, many would associate women mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. what, what trajectory are we taking? What's changed? when it comes to women empowerment. Let's, I, let's talk about it. I think that. women empowerment and her summit uh, event, to be uh, precise, is quite timely for us as Spiro 
because if you look at the kind of business we are into, we are into e-mobility, something very new in the industry. And when you see women leaders in this industry, it's quite very refreshing. So when we had an invite from Massey to be partners for this specific event, we were very fast to tap in into it, specifically focusing on uh, women with disabilities, because she was looking at empowering both normal women at the grassroots, mm -hmm. but also women with disabilities. So that is kind of the point where we wanted to quickly tap into it and sponsor that kind of event. We are quite excited to come in and uh, work with all women for different levels because what we sell is an electric bike. Mm -hmm. An electric motor vehicle is not very complicated operating. Actually, right now we are taking feedback from our clients on how to make our product more efficient and more workable mm -hmm. with people with disability and taking women as a pilot for such projects. So we are quite humbled as Spiro to be part of this very um, important topic right now in the country because we know it's about time to empower women because when we empower women again, as Marcy said, we empower a whole generation. Mm -hmm. yes. And talking about a whole generation, <laughs> men are also part of that um, you know, <laughs> generation. Victor, um, I, I'm really excited that um, you know, right now when you're talking about women empowerment, it's not just, just a bunch of women sitting down to talk about their issues. Mm -hmm. there, is the, there is this um, trend we're observing men coming on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to understand from your perspective why this is important, why we should have both both sides of, 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 of the divide come and discuss issues that are part, pertinent with regards to women. And also talk to me about um, LREB and, uh, you know, the space that it is going to be filling in this, in this summit as, as we plan for it. Is it from the 22nd to, to the 23rd? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, like I told you earlier, my name is Victor Nyagaya, the CEO of the, of the Electrogen Economic Block. It's a block of 14 counties. It is the largest block in the country. And it is uh, a block that is unique because it is uh, quite diversified because from the both political divide, but they come together and irrespective of which parties they belong to, they 